Hey guys, Towels here with another Fire Drew video for Project Diablo 2 Season 8. This one I want to focus on Day 1, so ladder start, early early ladder farming with Fire Druid. Um, season 8 open beta just before the season started was the first time I actually tried Fire Druid. Uh, I used Schmitty's Guide, which is uh, on Reddit, it's linked in the Discord Druid channel. Definitely check that out for detailed uh, analysis and um, tips and tricks and stuff for uh, Fire Druid, both early um, and late game. Um, so the character that I found uh, actually when I loaded up Pluggy to go practice Rathma, uh, I was able to find that my same open beta character somehow. I'm not really sure how, but he's here. Um, he was leveled to, yeah, to level 72 and uh, made it to Hell Ancients uh, in a day on the open beta. It was actually the third day, so I didn't get to complete it or anything, but honestly, it's in the perfect point that now I can go ahead and show you the gear that I, I found up to this point, and then also what, um, clearing Hell Ancients, Hell Bale, and, um, what, a, what Hell Cows looks like day one, uh, on a solo Fire Druid. So going into the character, we can start off with the gear. You've got, um, very much day one gear, so I'm rocking Spirit, Smoke, Rhyme, a bunch of random crafted blue, yellow items, uh, and Nats boots. I found these, uh, easily my best item. <laughs> and then my charm inventory, you can see, is just a lot of junk as well. So skills and stats wise, um, stats, I was rocking um, some block here. Um, this is going to be optional, but even though Druid has really bad block rate, um, frames all it's day one right so all your frames are going to be trash uh so all of those um fhr fcr and stuff is going to be kind of tough to get so just having block at all though is definitely helpful uh in my opinion so i'm probably going to do this with all my characters from now on um for day one so the rest then is going to be strength to equip your gear and the, everything else into vitality Optionally, you can also go for energy here just to buff your cyclone armor, which scales with energy and absorbs all elemental damage. So fire, cold, lightning damage, um, it's really great for that. And so the three additional absorb per energy is better than the, I think it's one or two HP that um, druids get for vitality points. So it's definitely something that you can consider balancing out. Um, skills wise, uh, I'm mostly putting points into Volcano and then all of its synergies. Um, so Volcano and Armageddon I've got at level 21 currently. It looks like I have just one plus skill at the moment. Um, Fisher, this is going to be super useful in a, in a bunch of different spots. Um, once you complete Hell, Hell Cows, is, this is going to be your main skill. So at that point, if you want to max it, totally makes sense. Um, even before like Volcano or Armageddon. But I'll go over that in that portion of the video. Um, and then the other one is Molten Boulder. So Molten Boulder is a f uh, synergy for Fisher. Um, and then the other synergy is Firestorm. So I've never maxed Firestorm to go with a full Fisher build, but especially for day one Hell Cows, this would be a very valid option for sure. Um, so I've got some points in Gust, it's still garbage, 4.7 seconds. Um, and then within Summoning Tree, it's a little different. I'm going for Oak and then these two Vines, but you will not have your one point um, summons for Meat Shields just because you don't have enough plus skills and you don't have enough FCR to make these remotely useful at the moment. So these are the last ones that I'll add points to. All right, and so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into uh, Hell Ancients and then I'll show you Hell Bale and then I'll show you a Hell Cow run. All right, here I am at Hell Ancients. Uh, you can see I'm still wearing all the same gear, charms, etc. Low skills, low damage. Um, so I start with just precasting a few volcanoes, get some cheap early damage. Um, expect my Merc to die pretty quickly. But once they summon, they'll come straight at you. And the nice thing about that is you have some fairly passive sources of damage. So your Armageddon, obviously with its Meteors, um, as long as you can stay out in front of them, they're just going to chase you and run right over your 
volcanoes. Definitely want to keep your cyclone armor up. They usually have some form of elemental damage, pretty significant. So you'll see anytime I do get hit, it's usually going to uh, drop my cyclone armor quite a bit. But when I run around in this circle, I'm just letting Armageddon do a ton of damage. And obviously as they walk over my volcanoes, that's that's doing a ton as well. Uh, this is pretty much how I fight Warlord of Blood also, um, the Whirlwind boss in the unique map. He's, he's a tough fight, um, especially for casters. I don't know a lot of other caster builds that can do it. Um, but obviously this comes with one point summons as meat shields and things like that. So doable on Fire Druid for sure. Anyway, so this might take a little while, um, but you've got pots anytime you get hit. Keeping the cyclone armor up. It's trying, trying to just stay out of range. Bait, the, bait that whirlwind um, and you should be pretty good. Like as soon as he whirlwinds, you can just move out of the way, then uh, let him soak up the damage. All right, one down. Usually there's going to be a fire immune among them also. Um, but the physical damage from Volcano and from Armageddon takes care of that. All right, two down. Just the leapy boy now. Usually he's the last one left because he's just always in the air and super annoying to kill. Okay, now you come for me. So he's got stone skin, so he's taking a little bit less physical damage in addition to just being generally annoying. Too lazy to re-record this, so we're just gonna live with that. <laughs> That's the longest it's taken me before, but um, yeah, you can see you can get through the clear. Um, one good tip though is when you do start, is to initially do a quick scan and just see what their immunities are, because it's gonna change every time. This time the leap guy had stone skin, so he was taking only like, you know, maybe like 60% of the damage, um, and he's always in the air, so he's the one that's going to take the longest to kill. Um, but next up is Hell Bale. Alright, um, so here I am in Hell Bale. Um, just spawned the last wave. Just gonna show you guys the quick cheese for dragging them out of the throne room um, to skip the wave. Uh, you do have to collect them all and stay alive. Um, but Lister and friends, they uh, usually spawn fire immune and a lot of times they're always fire immune and a lot of times physical immune for Lister himself. Um, so based on that, day one, you're just skipping them. There's uh, You can do it with amp potentially, um, but there's really no reason to. Um, so that was probably the messiest <laughs> I've done it. Uh, but once you hear that laugh, you know it worked. Okay. So jumping right in. <laughs> so 
So the beauty of Volcano for bossing is really the mobility with it, right? So you cast it, it stays underneath them, it continues to do their DPS. Um, it's best when bosses stand still, then you can stack a bunch of them on, um, and the damage really multiplies, um, and it'll just start melting enemies. In this case, obviously, we've got a very low level Volcano here. So this is gonna this fight's gonna take a while. For the most part, um, you can just run kite volcano. Um, make sure your cyclone armor stays up. Uh, and try to av avoid those blue triangles more than anything. So when you see a blue triangle coming at you, just try to run 90 degrees away from Bale. Um, just go directly to the side and. They're pretty easy to dodge in that case, or at least not get hit five times like that. Um, and when you do get hit like that, you really want to make sure your cyclone armor is up. In this fight, I kept forgetting to do that, obviously, um, but that's going to absorb an immense amount of that damage. So even if you get hit like three times, um, I think you'll be able to see later on that um, I'm only taking like maybe 100 damage after getting hit like three times by the blue triangle. So. Yeah, now I have it up. There, see? Um, that was technically three hits, I believe, and I lost a little over 100 damage. Uh, or a little, a little over 100 life. So this fight definitely took a long time. I think there was like two or three town trips for it, so I can just fast forward through some of it. Um, Another good option, another really good option is also to back yourself up against the wall um, and then all you have to do is make sure uh, that you keep your cyclone armor up for the blue triangle. Um, so anytime you get hit by a blue triangle you're only going to get hit once if, you've, if you're backed up against the wall. Um, so you can take no damage from it if you um, make sure your cyclone armor is up before it. So one hit will probably wipe out the whole cyclone armor. Um, and then as soon as you get hit, just make sure you cast it again, and then you'll be ready for the next one. And then the other key thing to watch out for is the mana burn. Once your mana goes to zero, it, um, it starts affecting your life, and then uh, it'll, it'll drain your HP really fast as well. So I'm not doing that in this fight. It works, it works all right. Um, definitely later on with better gear when you can actually tank more damage, it's really effective. But uh, really have to spam pots to get through that. Either way, I mean this 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 one again took me like two or three town town trips. Uh, yeah, so there's another town trip, um, but it's a lot of the same. Another town trip. I ran out of gold actually. Good thing to keep in mind for day one, especially if you die a couple times. Um, and then when I record these, I actually have uh, the recording bar covering the health bar at all times. So I never know how much health an enemy has when I'm recording any of these videos. That includes Rathma and Declone and all that. Um, but in this case, specifically for Bale, um, I can't tell which one's the clone. So you saw I just killed the clone a second ago. Um, that was unintentional. But yeah. Pretty much just the same thing throughout, and then eventually you whittle him down enough. There's probably better ways to do this, but really I just wanted to show in this video that um, you can clear it. Okay, so here I am. Um, gonna open up the El Cow Porto now. You can see still all the same day one gear I showed earlier. Um, in this yeah. So the main thing I want to show off is uh, going to be Fisher. So this skill right now is level 13 with only one uh, of its synergies partially uh, invested in.
so you can see very safe clear and um, as you level this up <laughs> past level 12 uh, you still don't need to actually uh, max both synergies um, this is going to be a very fast clear with um, just like maxed out uh, Fisher and Molten Boulder. So the Firestorm synergy that it has uh, doesn't apply to any of your other main skills and so because uh, of that we don't really need to put any points into it. But for some reason Fisher is just super effective against Hell Cows. Um, like with the gear that I've got on currently, you wouldn't think that this would be such an easy clear. With a skill that's not even my main skill. Like I can use Volcano here as well. Volcano will do the job just because it's several levels higher than Fisher right now. So it's level 21 um, Volcano, I believe. You can use Molten Boulder to push them back also just for a little bit of crowd control. Oops, my hotkeys are messed up, but... So this is where I spent most of my time farming um, after the uh, after clearing hell. You can just go straight into hell cows. Um, these obviously get progressively faster and faster as you do level up. Um, at this point, I would just dump the rest of my points into Fisher until it's maxed, and then you're looking at probably like level like five minute clears of this. So I'll actually do that now. Um, show what it looks like if I respec. This is pluggy, so that's nice. So I'll max this, um, one point, one point, a few points into here, a few points into Gust, one point Wonders, um, but okay, this is what 21 Fisher and 21 Molten Boulder looks like. see it's uh, it's melting them pretty effectively right so at this point it's pretty close to a five minute cow, cow, uh, secret cow level clear um, this does translate into hell cow maps also the t3 maps um, so I blood not blood more blood moon um, for, for whatever reason fish is just super effective against cows uh, just in general. So, um, if you're running a couple of Nightmare Cow runs uh, in between Nightmare before you're really ready for Hell, um, it's extremely effective there. Um, again, with just the few points that you might have into it. Um, if you wanted to respec at this point and turn this into a Fisher build just to specifically target cows and spam this, that's a very, very valid option for early ladder. Um, so then you would just max Firestorm as well. And pretty much ignore ignore everything else. Um, and just collect cow legs, or wurtz legs, and go for cows. Um, yeah. 
So I find this a lot more fun than running Arcane uh, early on. So a lot of your like lightning builds and a lot of other builds in general just farm Arcane or maybe Travancore early on. Um, I find Cal runs a lot more fun, and so this guy being so effective at them really, uh, really made me want to choose this as my season starter for season eight. I've been very happy with the result, as you can see through the rest of my videos. But um, this is uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to share what the experience was like. Uh, happened to find this character still loaded up and available within Pluggy, so that worked out great. Um, and yeah, just want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, take care.